I know this is a weird thing to review on this channel, but I do love gadgets, especially kitchen gadgets. I'm also a huge fan of Good Eats. I met Alton Brown a long time ago. He's such a cool guy. This was like 12 years ago? It was at a book signing and he defaced a Rachel Ray cookbook. So of course, I had to buy it. Alton Brown did that. Hey, I am perky. I've been trying to eat at home more. It's healthier, it's cheaper, and I know it's going in the food. When I was given the opportunity to review this item, it seemed to be fate. My old trusty probe thermometer croaked. I had lost the probe. It was falling apart. It was meant to be. I've been relying on my instant feed thermometer, but reaching into the oven every few minutes to check is bad for cook time and knuckle hairs. Which brings me to Smart Pro's ST54 Dual Probe Digital Thermometer. Just when I needed a thermometer, the company contacted me asking me if I wanted to review it for them. So I said, sure, I could use a new thermometer. The Smart Pro looks pretty cool. I only wish I had a stainless steel kitchen to go with it. Backlit digital readout, food type temperature presets for beef, poultry, fish, pork, but you can also set manual temperatures. It also comes with two probes, but you don't have to use both. For example, if you're cooking something large, like a turkey, you can monitor the white meat and the dark meat separately. Oh, it's also got a timer function, which most thermometers do anyway. It took me a minute to realize that only the bottom fourth is the touch screen. Everything else is just display. You can find it on Amazon for $24.99, I'll put the link in the description. So how do I test this puppy out? Cook something, of course. I made pork chops. It's a simple recipe of salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, a spritz of olive oil, and a touch of brown sugar on the top, and just a couple of drops of liquid smoke for a little oomph. What better way to test out a dual probe thermometer? Two probes, two chops, no waiting. It's not a race, but my money is on the left one. He looks like a winner. Into an oven at 350 degrees for 20-25 minutes, or until it reaches an internal temperature of 145. And it was here that I realized that the presets on this thermometer run a little high. Relying on their presets may give you overcooked food, so you probably want to stick with the manual settings. Cooking times vary with every oven, but internal temperature will always be a reliable metric for doneness. With probe leads, the unit sits safely outside the oven. You can lay it down, stand it up, or use the fold-out stand. I prefer the magnet, I always feel like I'm setting a bomb. But the backlight goes off after a little while. I'm sure it's to save battery, but it also makes it hard to read from a distance. Tapping it wakes up the light, but I would have liked an always-on option and let me worry about the battery. Hey buddy, helping me cook? I'm usually preparing side dishes at this point and I'd like to be able to glance over to see how much time I have without having to touch it. Hmm, one chop is at temperature first. The other one has a few degrees to go, so I'll just let it cook. A few degrees over won't kill anything. But at every minute, it keeps warning me that chop one is at target temperature and I have to re-snooze. I had to do this several times before chop two hit the target temperature. Finally, time to pull my pork. <laughs> I compared the temperatures with my instant read and they were pretty close. The touch screen cuts down the number of buttons that can get gummed up by grubby food hands. Four Bs. It's a solid unit, it's well made, and it does what it needs to do. But the dual alarms don't seem to be snoozable separately. But if I have something on the stove and other things to do, I'm not going to want to hit more than a single key press. Also, the self-dimming display makes it hard to read at a glance or in certain lighting conditions. Hopefully I won't lose these things again. You want a little life hack? Keep them in a zip top bag and clip them to your fridge with a magnet. It's really going to come in handy for Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, the bell, you know the usual YouTube stuff. This is The Newbie and I'll see you later kids. Toodles. And special thanks to my patrons. You guys rock.